In this video, we'll be creating a kit render and learn some KRK basics along the way. A question you might have right away is, where are all the keycaps? Well, they're here in the 3D viewport. This is PLA, or the placeholder profile. The enter key is already selected, so we just need to hit the A key to select all of the keycaps in the viewport. Then in the KRK panel, in the relink section, press set to set the keycaps to cherry profile. Then from the asset browser, drop the caps mat onto the active keycap object highlighted in orange. Next, press copy materials in the data section of the KRK panel to propagate this material to all other selected keycaps. Now let's set variations on the homing keys. For the defaults, uh, I'll set them to bar, and for the alternates, let's set them to scoop. The CareK palette workflow is designed to simplify color exploration, but for this tutorial, let's assume that you've already settled on a colorway. Pick a few slots in palette A and add your colors. By default, palette A is connected to keycap color and palette B is connected to the legend. Let's set up our alphas, mods, and accent colors. At this point, I'd like to highlight something very important. The default color management profile in Blender, and by extension in KRK, is a view transform called Filmic. Filmic offers advantages over other profiles, such as standard, but it assumes that you're going to do some post-processing, so the colors may appear muted. Post-processing means adjusting your rendered image's brightness, contrast, etc using image editing software, much the same way you would do to a photograph. This is the path I would recommend, but if you insist on skipping this step, at least change the profile to medium high contrast, or set the view transform to standard. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and finish up our kit render. In the outliner, turn on a floor such as floor light gray and then let's view from the camera hit tilde and go to view camera as you can see the framing there are some keycaps in the way so let's go ahead and move those out of the view and then set to rendered view here. To speed this up, we can set it to GPU compute. And then uh, I'd like to lighten, brighten up this light a little bit. Kit directional two, set it to four. And then let's do something about these legends. Drag and drop. Okay. Select the accents and set them to the blue. Hit set. Then select all the mods and set them to the blue as well. Set. And 
for the alphas, I'd like to set them to the purple. There we go. Good. Now all that's left to do is to hit F12. And there you go. You've now completed your first kit render. That's it for this video.